All right, this is the one tank challenge where we see if we can go to a different city from London on one tank of fuel. We did Amsterdam before and now we are at Paris. I'm back in my bag, yo. Conscious. Iso. Down. Back in my bag and I ain't gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel You know I had to bring it to the hood Like she carrying silver when she keep on The full tank has been secured in the car Paris is about 300 miles away The car is indicating we're gonna get about 360 miles left and as we know from our previous trip to Amsterdam, that is not the case. When we start driving economically, the fuel range increases. So I'm not quite worried about that. Obviously to save some fuel, I'm gonna put it into eco mode. So as you can see, eco mode has been activated. Uh, that way we're getting the most out of the petrol left in the tank. We might as well be the new top gear with the amount of car challenges we're doing on this channel. I'm actually so annoyed. Like I'm dripped out, yeah, dripped out, yeah, dripped out, yeah. And then I spill coffee on my jumper like full-on coffee i'm pretty sure you guys already know the fuel saving methods i'm going to use uh, i'm only going to cruise around 60 miles per hour uh, obviously i'm not going to use the aircon because it's the winter in the england right now so i don't want to freeze even more than i already am i've already got like a huge puffer jacket on um heating i will have to use here and there because like i said it's winter and i don't want to freeze so i will be he using heat in a bit but other than that there's no other fuel saving methods I need to use. The coffee smell in the car right now, oh my days. I'm I'm ready to call I'm ready to call the challenge and go home. Honestly, I'm just a mess. I don't know why, but I I'm just I'm I'm over I'm not overreacting right now. Like I'm I'm actually overreacting right now. Come on Jeremy, keep it together. Come on. Okay, how am I breathing through my mouth and breathing out my mouth? I swear it's breathing in through your nose and breathing out of your mouth. Okay, I feel calm already. We've made it here. Uh, there was a lot of stopping and starting, stopping and starting. So I've lost about six miles in the space of about 0.5 miles, 395 miles. It was about 401 when I got here. Uh, yeah, I've lost about six miles, which is a shame really, because I was doing quite well reserving the fuel. 395 to get to Paris and back. It's looking a bit tight. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Please ensure that your handbrake is on and that your vehicle is in first gear or park. For your safety and comfort, we recommend that you stay with your vehicle. Do not stand or walk between the vehicles during the crossing. We've lost another like six or seven miles just in the space of getting into the train. But uh, yeah, we're on the train. We've made the 720 train, the one we booked for. We didn't actually miss it. But yeah, yeah we're here. Next stop, Paris. Okay, I don't know why I said it in like a French accent, but yeah, Paris is the next stop. We've made it into France. We're in France. Is it weird, yeah? You know when I'm on the Eurotunnel train, I could smell like France in, in the train. Like, you know when we're like crossing the crossing it like I can smell the air and it smells of France it's so weird I must I must have some kind of like superpowers you know uh, but yeah we're in France uh, I need to pull over because I need a toilet man I'm still driving by the way I still haven't found a petrol station why, why is it taking this long like why is it taking this long my, my toilet situation is getting worse. On the fuel gauge thing, yeah, we're nearly approaching the, the quarter mark. So we've burnt through nearly a quarter of the fuel. That is not good. Oh, okay. Location, France. Got the M140i parked just down there. Uh, I've done about 30 minutes driving in France. Uh, we've got about two and a half hours left, about 140 miles till we get to our destination in Paris. Um, and on the tank, it's saying it's got about 350 miles left. So I think, I think we're looking good so far. But yeah, man, other than that, 
we're making some good progress but i do have to say that this video is brought to you with car vertical if you didn't know car vertical is the online vehicle database of used car records and all you have to do is enter your rego vin number from your car and you can pull up a report on your car in less than a minute let me show you how a report looks if you were to get one on your car so i've pulled this report up on an audi a3 and as you can see there's an amber light on mileage meaning the vehicle's mileage has been tampered with uh, it's got a green tick on theft meaning the car wasn't stolen it's got an amber light on accident meaning the car was damaged before and it's got a green tick on finance meaning there's no outstanding finance on that car and if we keep scrolling down we get to the spotted activity this is my favorite bit by the way you can pick up a lot of useful information about your car under the spotted activity section and if i keep scrolling down i can see the mileage section and you can clearly see that the car has been clocked back these are valuable information you need to know before you buy a car hence why i recommend you running a report on car vertical with a current car you own or a car you're about to buy just so that you do know what you're getting yourself into and talking about car reports here i actually went on car vertical and got a report on that m140 before i bought it so if you guys are looking to buy a new car or if you guys got a car make sure you go get a report on car vertical just so that you know what uh, the history of the car is like and the people over at car vertical love this channel so much that they're giving us an exclusive discount with 20 percent off and all you have to do is use the code drizzy this code used to give you 10 percent off before now it gives you 20 percent off because like i said the people over at car vertical love us so much so make the most of this deal and uh, see what history your car holds anyways now i'm gonna have this monster and I'm gonna go get ready to drive this two and a half hour drive. <sighs> so the speed limit here to save fuel is this. This is what I should be doing. Uh, it's about 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Obviously we're in France, so everything is in kilometers. And I'm getting overtaken by everyone. It's getting to a point where even the lorries are overtaken. This is how fast I should be going. Oh, yeah, see? Another person's overtaking me. Yep. Yeah, right, yeah. The worst thing is sometimes they give me a look and they overtake me, then they get in front of me as well. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. I'm trying to save fuel here. Oh my goodness, these holes are so annoying because it's literally on the other side I have to get out of the car to actually pay for it oh my goodness that just cost me 23 euros 23 euros for what we're about 40 minutes away from Paris now uh, we've got like 30 miles left yeah Watch this be one expensive trip. Touchdown in Paris, just parked up the car. Let me show you what the fuel situation is saying. You'll be surprised. Bang. And we have got 275 miles left in the tank as you can see here yeah the car is sounding quite loud up in here you know but uh, let me turn that off we've got just over half a tank left which should be enough for us to get back to where we started comfortably but with the city driving we still have left to do to get back uh, it could go either way because there was quite a bit of traffic when I got in here This right here is why I've come to France. For this one croissant is why I have traveled like six hours to eat this. Wait. You see this stuff here? This stuff you don't find in England, only in France. Paris is like a maze. I've been walking around for like quite a while now and I still ain't found the Eiffel Tower. I can see it up there, look. It's there, but I don't know where I'm going. 
I have found the Eiffel Tower. Look how big it is. It's, it's huge. Uh, so yeah, I guess this marks uh, the fact that we've made it to Paris, if that makes sense. Uh, so we've made it to the Eiffel Tower. Now our mission is to get back home on the rest of the tank that's in the car. Uh, is it possible? Well, we're about to find out now. So let's get back into the car and start heading back home. Oh, okay, I don't know what that was. But um, 275 miles left in the tank. We've got about 300 miles left to get back to where we started. Uh, so we're about 25 miles short. So yeah, let's see if this is possible. But before that, let's try and get out of Paris because oh my days. I thought driving in London was bad. Pa Paris is just as bad. Okay, this is what I hate, yeah? Because all the stuff is on this side. I have to climb over to put the ticket in to let me out. Gosh. Oh, I've got to remove the ticket as well. Gosh, you see the struggle to like, get out. Oh. Okay. One thing I hate about driving in Europe, everything is on the other side. How many miles is it showing? Showing it's got 271 miles left now, and we had 275 miles when we was leaving the car park, and we've only moved about. 0.2 miles okay i've somehow lost I, i've some I'm, I'm lost i'm in the middle of like all the shops with, and i need to find my way out this challenge just took a turn for the worse i am stuck in traffic and this traffic is looking bad guess how many miles i've got left in the tank now 230 miles and I've barely left uh, Paris uh, city center. I've only done about five miles and I've already lost like over like 50 miles from doing nothing. Okay, I've cleared the Paris traffic and I've taken my break a bit early because I'm getting hungry now. Unfortunately, we did lose a lot of fuel during that whole traffic period but i can say now that we have no more traffic left it's just a straight road back to calais um i've pulled up to this restaurant once i've eaten it's gonna get straight back on the road again and get back get back home man because i'm tired and i just want i just want to get back <sighs> that was banging i am so full like you know when you're so full and you're gonna you're about to have a food coma like i said we've only got about 160 miles left to do in france and then, uh, yeah, we shall see how far we can get. We've got about an hour and 15 minutes left, about 90 miles left, yeah. And on the dash is saying it's, we've got about 111 miles left. If we go by that, we're definitely not gonna make it. I think because of all the traffic, because of all the city driving, I think that may, may have uh, messed up our challenge. about half an hour left uh, about 34 miles uh, left to get to Calais and uh, it's saying we've got about 68 miles left in the tank um, we'll probably get to uh, England however beyond that I don't think we're gonna make it far so that is what the situation so far is saying Wow, I am finished. I am absolutely finished. 
that had to be the most intense 10 minutes of my life ever. So imagine I'm trying to make my train, yeah, and I get flashed. It's the first ever time I got flashed, so I'm waiting for a hefty fine to come through the post soon. And then um, I'm faffing about trying to like, get checked in. And when I get to the check-in booth, it tells me, oh, I'm too late to check in. My next train is at, uh, I think, 11.40. Bearing in mind that this train that I'm on now is scheduled to leave at 9.20. So I would have had to wait like two hours. Uh, so I was like, all right, I accepted it. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the next train now. I, I go to park up and I see people like driving about trying to get, trying to board a train. So I was like, you know what? Let me follow them as well. Uh, I followed them. Then I actually made the train I was supposed to get, which I'm on right now, if that makes any sense. So uh, yeah, I was literally ragging it about in the Euro tunnel port bit. And oh my days, did I finish a lot of fuel. I've got 21 miles left in the car right now. 21. That's it, the challenge is over. I'm not gonna make it anywhere. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to a petrol station. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to end the challenge here. Uh, it's say, we could say that we made it back to England, but uh, we didn't make it back to where we were supposed to make it back, which was Cobham service stations. But uh, yeah, we made it back to the edge of England, which is all right, I guess. But uh, yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one tank fuel challenge. Uh, I've done a few now, so I did one to Amsterdam, I did one to Scotland with the 100 pound car, and now I've done Paris. Uh, I do enjoy this, but oh my days does it take it out of me, because I'm shattered right now. And I still got like about an hour and a half drive back home. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like. I appreciate everyone's support as always on all the videos. And uh, yeah, man, I shall see you in my next video. Let's hope I could get some fuel in the car. Otherwise, I definitely will be stranded.